everyone. How are you today? Welcome to your art class, term two. For today's lesson, we will proceed with our unit four, which is enhance your drawing. But before we proceed with our main topic, we will do first our Unit 4 Vocabulary Words. Are you ready? Now let's get started. Number 1 Additional Additional 2 Appear Appear 3 Artificial Artificial 4. Concentrate Concentrate 5. Dimension Dimension 6. General General 7. Hatch Hatch 8. Highlight Highlight 9. Illustrate Illustrate 10. Moderate. Moderate. 11. Realistic. Realistic. 12. Reflect. Reflect. 13. Scenery. Scenery. 14. Shadow. Shadow. 15. Strengthen. Strengthen. So those are our vocabulary words for Unit 4. So please practice on how to read and spell each word. For this unit, we have two learning contents. The first one is light and shadow. Second one is distance and depth. After discussing Unit 4, you should be able to describe the characteristics of the paintings with the arranging of distance, depth, weight, and light and shadow in the painting. So please continue watching to know your activity for this lesson. The weight of light and shadow and arranging the distance and depth are important for creating dimensions and making a painting look realistic. Light and shadow, a well-drawn picture containing both light and shadows, has dimension and it looks more real. But what is light and shadow? When it comes to light, there are two parts. The first one is the natural light. We refer to sunlight, moonlight, starlight, and fireflies. Those light source that I mentioned, they are from nature. They produce light depending on its time. For sunlight, it's daytime. For moonlight and starlight and even the fireflies, you can find it during night time. So what is the relationship of lights? In your drawing. In drawing, you have also to emphasize the light side or the brightest side where the light directs to the object so that your drawing will look more realistic and it creates shadow when the object black with an opaque object. Shadow depends on the position 
of your light source. And shadow is always on the opposite side of your light source. Now let's watch this video. Enjoy! At noon, when the sun is directly overhead, shadow is tiny, or there's no shadow. The position of the sun changes throughout the day, which changes the angle at which the sun's rays fall on the ground. This is why you see different sizes and shapes of shadows. Show the chart to your friends. In the morning, your shadow will be long. At noon, it was small. And in the late afternoon, it's long again. Now, you know a lot about light and shadow. Bye-bye! That's all for today, class. I hope you understand the importance of light and shadow to your drawing. Please write the following slides in your art notebook. Thank you.